Let's face it, those seasoned baristas at your new coffee gig, they are a little scary. Who knew this was a real career? <laughs> Today, we're going to give you some helpful tips on how to steam some milk. All right, let's get to work. Make sure to have some fancy gloves on your hands. The volume of milk that you begin with will, in part, determine the texture of the milk once steamed. A simple rule that's always worked for us is to introduce the air to the milk between the point where the pitcher is cool and neutral. Cool and neutral. This way, even if you're steaming a ton of milk, you'll get the same texture. It really can be that easy. <laughs> but it's not. If you're new to steaming milk, try aerating it as subtly as possible. This really is one of those less is more type things. To begin aerating the milk, start with the steam wand at a slight outward angle and with the tip just below the surface. This should push the milk into a nice continuous whirlpool. And at this point, heck, why don't you just sit and reflect on what a great job you're doing? Man, am I proud of you. Now at this point, you're either going to hear a screeching sound, a bunch of bubbly nonsense, or a nice little crackle. Which one do you think is best? If you're getting all screech, pull the milk down towards the holes in the steam wand tip. There you go. And if you're getting a bunch of crazy bubbles, push that steam wand pitcher right back up. Nice work. Now ideally, and you've probably heard this a thousand times before, your milk should look exactly like... Wesley! No, silly. Alfredo sauce. Creamy, velvety, and glossy. I hope that was helpful. And be sure to join us for part two, where we'll teach you how to do milk paintings. 